Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on a um, possible way, or at least begin um, experimentation into a suitable liquid vehicle for RUM, or RU5841 mirror state. Um, as we know, um, we've been talking about on the forums, RU5841 mirror state um, is of course a very lipophilic version of RU5841. And as we know, it requires a different vehicle, um, especially in terms of liquid vehicles. That limits us from using the ethanol uh, propylene glycol standard vehicle um, because it's not very lipophilic; it doesn't dissolve it well. Um, and I have that video uploaded, so we know what that's like. Um, we know that it's probably not a good liquid carrier. <clears throat> the good thing is, um, as I've talked about before, we do have the NRF cream which was shown in fluoroscopy studies to deliver the uh, rum to the follicle. So, you know, this is a, you know, a, you know, well, a proven method, at least for delivering rum, but it has, um, you know, limitations in terms of your application. So, what everyone's wanting, what I'm wanting as well, as we're working towards, is the ability to have a suitable vehicle for RU5841 mirror state that's liquid so that it's easy to, easier to apply at places like the crown, back of your head, uh, where you, you might have a lot of hair that would get in the way of a cream like this. Uh, you'd end up wasting all of the cream. While it's great on your hairline, uh, and we know it's proven to work, uh, we want um, an, an easier option. So that's what we're looking for here. Because just like how I used to apply RU5841, uh, where I could use a syringe such as this to direct it right down um, you know, onto the scalp and not waste on the, the, the hairs. That's what I'd like to do here. So this video is going to be in two little parts. The first part, I'm not actually going to use any of the uh, rum um, in this mixture um, because I just want to see how um, emu oil and propylene glycol react with one another. Um, I have done this before when I applied about 300 milligrams of rum in the past and what I did was um, put it into some emu oil and then added propylene glycol until the consistency was uh, liquid enough that I could apply it and I applied the full 300 milligrams when I was when I was testing it. Um, what I'd like to do now is you know kind of actually put some numbers on this how much uh, emu oil, how much propylene glycol um, you know makes the solution liquid enough that you can apply it. Now there are so many different ways that people are experimenting with this. There are a lot of people on the forums that have used just pure emu oil and to get the uh, rum to dissolve fully in it um, they can actually heat it up and it will become clear. For others, you know, um, it'll be what's been reported that it's like a milky white color. Um, and I really do think that's dependent on the emu oil. The emu oil that I am using is the Swanson's uh, emu oil, 100% natural. And um, then again, for people who are looking at this for the first time, the reason we are looking at emu oil as a liquid vehicle is because emu oil is a proven penetrant. Um, it's been used in the past to deliver things um, through the skin. And, um, you know, it by itself has great um, therapeutic properties for the skin. It's an anti-inflammatory agent. And the main reason, of course, that we, we choose it um, to dissolve the rum is that it's a lipid. It's, a, you know, obviously a very viscous um, combination of different hydrocarbons. Or, um, and it actually contains, I believe, about 4% of the exact same 14-carbon uh, mirror state group that's bound onto rum. So very good candidate, very good, um, <clears throat> you know, candidate for dissolving rum. But it, the only problem is it is still a little thick. Um, as you can see here, it's nowhere uh, near liquid enough to use in a syringe like this. So, you know, we want to apply, um, we need to make it more liquid, and a great way to do that is with propylene glycol. Now, I did make a solution in the past with ethanol and propylene glycol where the rum would quickly separate out. Um, but I, I made a secondary solution, and it was suspended much longer in the propylene glycol units. You know, one extra carbon in length, it makes sense that it would uh, suspend it a little better. So, with that said, I know a propylene glycol isn't a bad liquid vehicle, but it can be made much better. And of course, we know emu oil is a, is a great way to dissolve it, um, but it has its limitations of being too thick. 
So a uh, combination of the two might be really good. Hey there guys, my camera ran out of space and cut me off. Anyway, I was r right at the part where I was about to mix the propylene glycol with the emu oil, see what it looks like. Um, at first it's going to be of course really rough estimates um, so that we can develop some figures about what a good ratio is and what that ratio will result in in terms of you know how liquid it is. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of propylene glycol and see how it goes. A roughly a little dab of emu oil there. And also this is a really good way because I remember last time when I did this my solution did turn white um, or a little bit more white and this is a great way to, to sh see if it's related to the rum being present um, or if it's just the propylene glycol um, and emu oil. Go ahead and do this. And I really do hope that I can get a decent enough mixture of the two of these where I can make it really liquid. Okay. See about how much. I got about half and half. Actually, it might be more than. Actually, it might be more uh, propylene glycol. Let's see if this can even mix. Uh, that will be. That would be really nice if they could. That looks to be too much propylene glycol. Um, they are separating out. You can see it's not really an emulsion. It's really distinct. I'm going to try another mixture in a second with a little bit, uh, which is a tiny bit of propylene glycol and the majority of emu oil and see how that turns out. All right, after many, many mixing attempts at different ratios, it seemed that um, before emu oil and propylene glycol would start phasing out, I could get about, in terms of weight, um, 17% weight, um, part by weight, um, propylene glycol into the emu oil. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on a little bit larger scale. I'm going to put enough where I might actually be able to, you know, practically use this, um, tonight. And then, once I get that solution made up, uh, about 17% weight um, propylene glycol to uh, the weight of the emu oil. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the rum in about 100 milligrams that I know in that application I've got 100 milligrams. And I'm going to see how that all comes together. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to plop in some emu oil in a sufficient amount, take 17% of that, um, and add that in terms of weight of propylene glycol. So here it goes. Good amount of my email oil, so let's make this worthwhile. <clears throat> okay. So one point two. I need to get about one point two grams worth of. Um, the propylene glycol in here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, eight, two of this. It'll be easy to get a readout on that. Okay, let's see if we can go about this. <clears throat> Okay, well, 
that's close enough. I'm not gonna... There we go. Okay, now if the proportions are still right, hopefully, compared to the little small scale experiments I did earlier, um, this will still blend up and be okay. Let's try this. Oh, this is the mixing, see if I can get it to focus on all that. Good, good. 17% still seems to be working quite well. Okay, that's great. Um, and it's pretty liquid too. Okay, awesome. Um, it's really good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and weigh out 100 milligrams of rum. Pause right there. And uh, once I've got it weighed out, I'll um, cut the video back in and we'll add it in and see what it looks like. Now, it is quite a bit of solution here. Um, so I decided to go ahead and weigh out 200 milligrams just based on my previous mixing, I know how much of this it can uh, solvate. So I'm going to go ahead and add the 200 milligrams to this amount, um, see how well it dissolves it, see how liquid it is, run the numbers and figure out what the percentage is, um, and based on maybe if I could get a volume estimate on this, how much it would be per night. Let's see. Wow, it's already starting to disappear as it just gets put under the emu oil. It's great. I'll adjust my camera does keep filling up and cutting off my video. I have to go back and delete more stuff. But this was um, a solution that weighed about 7 grams of emu oil and about 17% of that was propylene glycol. To that I added 200 milligrams of rum and it seems to be dissolved really well.